Hetty the Highland Cow. Harry Hetty. Illustrated by Joe Allen. Hetty the Highland Cow lived in Scotland on Granny MacLeod's farm. Granny had two grandchildren, Callum and Kirsty, who liked to visit Hetty. It was spring and the sun was shining. Hetty was in her field having a tasty breakfast of grass and dandelions. It was usually cold in Scotland, so Hattie's coat was thick and hairy. And look, Callum and Kirsty are wearing mittens and a knitted hat and here a scarf. Two blackbirds flew by looking for a place to make their nest. Chut, chut, tweet, they said. They started to build a nest in Hattie's hair. Moo, said Hattie. She wasn't sure about this. She was a cow, not a hedge. But the blackbirds were happy with their new home, and they settled down to lay their eggs. Hmm. A bit rude, if you ask me. It was summer, and Hattie was hot, <sighs> hot under her thick coat. But she had lots of lovely flowers to eat. The blackbirds were singing happily. Chirp, chirp, tweet. Their eggs had hatched, and the baby birds were learning to fly. Some butterflies fluttered around Hattie's head and landed on her nose, which was very tickly. Mooshu! Hattie let out a big sneeze. She hoped the butterflies would fly away soon. She was a cow, not a leaf. But the butterflies had found a new home. They settled in Hattie's fur and laid their eggs, which soon hatched into wriggling caterpillars. It was autumn. Look, it's very stormy. And the tree is already losing his leaves. And it was very windy. Hattie was trying to eat brambles, mmm, brambles, from the hedge. The blackbirds were singing as they mended their nest. They are repairing their nest. Chirp, chirp, tweet. The caterpillars had turned into brand new butterflies. But it was much too windy to fly. A squirrel scurried by, looking for a place to hibernate for the winter. So it's looking for a place to sleep. Oh dear. Squeak, said the squirrel, as it snuggled down in Hattie's long fur. Moo, said Hattie grumpily. She was a cow, not a tree. But the squirrel was already fast asleep. Oh dear. It was winter and it was freezing cold outside. Winter in Scotland is very, very cold. But underneath her hairy coat, Hattie was very warm indeed. And so were the blackbirds who were having a snooze, and the butterflies who were hiding, fast asleep, and the squirrel was snoring, <coughs> snored, <coughs> snored, <coughs> snarf. Oh dear, poor Hetty. Along came a mountain hare who was tired of looking for food in the snow. Boing! The hare hopped onto Hattie's back and burrowed in her thick hair or fur. Moo! said Hattie as the hare kicked. 
with its strong back legs. She was a cow, not a walking zoo. Hattie shook her coat, but all the animals hung on tightly. Mm. It was nearly spring, and Hattie was feeling itchy. Mm, mm, itchy. The blackbirds were flapping, the butterflies were fluttering, the squirrel was twitching. The hare gave Hattie an almighty kick. Thump! This was the final straw. As fast as she could, under the weight of all the animals, Hattie trotted over to Granny's cottage. Moo! Hattie bellowed. Granny McLeod and Callum and Christy rushed outside. Oh, Hattie, what a mess! said Granny. She sometimes had bad hair days herself, but never quite like this. So Callum and Kirsty brushed <laughs> with a broom Hattie's hair, and out flew two blackbirds, lots of pretty butterflies, a sleepy squirrel, oh, he's still asleep, and a startled mountain hare. Oh, what's happening? Oh dear! All these creatures have been sleeping in Hattie's hair," said Callum. "She's a cow, not a hairy hotel," said Kirsty. "Poor Hattie," said Granny. Then she got out the shears, shears, and gave Hattie a good trim. <coughs> Hattie liked her new haircut. Look, she's very pretty with a bow. But where had all the animals gone? The blackbirds were building a nest in the hedge. That's very good. That's natural for them. The butterflies were flying among the leaves. The squirrel was making a nest in a tree. And the mountain hare was hopping back up the hillside. Moo! said Hattie, happy at last. The end.